Here at New Way, we've got a test bed here with our new cartridge bearings. Uh, it's a three inch diameter shaft. Uh, and this is the cartridge bearing here. You'll see it's a Bentley bearing from New Way. Uh, it mounts on an O-ring, a lot like a bearing cartridge would in this industry. It has the externally pressurized porous media technology from, from New Way here built into this uh, cartridge type bearing. So uh, even though there's four separate bearing elements, there's only one input of air into the cartridge assembly for uh, a nice clean look and uh, conservation of space. You can see here, this is a three inch shaft uh, spinning and we're gonna spin this up to about uh, 11,000 RPM. We're gonna drive it up to 11,000 RPM with this 18,000 RPM motor and using this AC drive or controller, uh, we've got it coupled to our three inch shaft which is 48 inches long. Uh, we've got an encoder here to tell us how fast we're actually going. We've got a driven end cartridge bearing here that's got four of the O-ring Bentley bearings in here. Uh, some proximity probes. And then down at this end we've got some more probes again to see what's going on on the non-drive end where we've got four more of our Bentley gas bearings. So uh, you can see that it spins quite freely. I'm going to turn the air pressure off here. This is the, the air control system. It's, uh, so now it's off. Yep. You can see, I can just barely turn that shaft in the bearings. That bearing preload comes from compression of the O-ring between the back of the bearing and the inside of the cartridge here. And it's the pressure that's exuding from the porous face that pushes, that pushes the bearing into the O-ring that both provides compliance and damping uh, and frictionless motion of the shaft between the face of the bearing and the, and the rotor. So turning the air pressure on, you can see that it's flowing 63 cubic feet per hour, which is just over one cubic foot per minute. And that's for all eight bearings. So that's a relatively low flow. That would be like the flow through a dry gas seal, essentially. Uh, and that's at 80 PSI. Okay, let's fire it up. <laughs> 